We've got the most expensive games to attend in 2022. Reddit CFB put together a pretty good list. This was LaMarcus Aldridge, one, two, three, four, uh, Michigan fan. And the list is pretty interesting. And the reason I wanted to get into it, uh, we're just going to do the top 10. He did the top 25, but I'm going to roll through the top 10 here. Uh, there were some different ones than you might expect at the top of this list. We'll start off here, Navy and Army on December 10th is $211 just to get in. That one makes perfect sense. Auburn at Alabama, November 26, 214 bucks. That makes sense. Iron Bowl, of course. Number eight, Penn State at Auburn. You don't normally get a non-conference matchup like that on the Plains, so that makes sense. Nebraska versus Northwestern. You wouldn't typically expect that. Except, remember, that game is a neutral site game in Dublin, Ireland. They don't get a lot of college football games in Dublin, Ireland. So, when you see something like this pop up, of course, you are going to expect a pretty high ticket price. The stadium where they're playing is not huge, and it's a very rare event that's going on over there. Number six, Notre Dame at Ohio State. Of course, that makes sense. 225 bucks to get in. Number five, Arizona at San Diego State. Now, this game is going to be broadcast on CBS on opening weekend. September 3rd, it is $227 to get in. And this is, the reason why this is so high on the list, why it's even on the list, is because it is the grand opening of the new Snapdragon Stadium, the new on-campus stadium for San Diego State. And this is another one of those situations because San Diego State's on-campus stadium only holds 35,000 people. It's a massive, massive deal in San Diego. So, yeah, 227 bucks to get in uh, to see the grand opening, to see a Pac-12 team come in there. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty big deal. And it's a game that San Diego State can win, right? It's a game against a Pac-12 team. I mean, this is the same team that beat Utah last year. So, yes, absolutely. Number four on the list, Alabama at Texas. Again, rare matchup, 234 bucks to get in. That one makes sense. Uh, number one here, Texas and Oklahoma, obviously makes sense. That's $284. Texas A&M at Alabama, that one shot up the board because of the Jimbo Saban fight that went on through the media back just a, a month or so ago, a couple months ago. So, uh, but number three here is the one that I wanted to talk about. North Carolina versus App State. That's on September 3rd. Now, the game is being played at App State. Now, why is this such a huge deal? North Carolina is not a great football program, etc. App State, a G5 monster. $241 get in on opening weekend. Look, this is happening at Kid Brewer Stadium in Boone, North Carolina, and that is the ticket right there. That is the issue. It is in Boone, North Carolina. It is a G5 monster that's hosting the flagship state school. And of course that makes sense as to why the ticket price would be so crazy. You are not often going to see a team like North Carolina going to App State, and App State has a legitimate chance to win the game. Absolutely legitimate chance to win the game. But it does also question, like, why? If you're North Carolina, what are you doing? Like, they play at App State and then at Georgia State the next weekend. I mean, just bananas. Bananas on their part. Like, why would you do this? Why would you do this? Um... But yeah, those are the top 10 there. Uh, the other ones, Clemson, Notre Dame, Ohio State at Penn State, BYU versus Notre Dame in Las Vegas, Michigan and Ohio State, Auburn, Georgia, Oregon, Georgia, Oklahoma, Nebraska. Um, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, no, Oklahoma, Nebraska, Michigan State, Michigan, Tennessee, Georgia, USC, Utah, Alabama, LSU, Florida, Georgia, Minnesota, Penn State, Oklahoma State at Oklahoma, Florida State at Miami, and Michigan at Iowa. All of those make perfect sense. Again, you're not going to see a ton of App States or San Diego States on that list, but those did make sense to me. Hopefully they do to you after the explanations. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.